Yu-Gi-Oh! has evolved a lot through the years, so much so it seems intimidating to returning players or people trying out this game for the first time. When I returned to this game in 2021, I was fortunate enough to have kept all my cards and had enough to make a deck. Not a good deck, but a deck nonetheless. But I wanted to see what the game would be like if I started from scratch, with a monster a Yu-Gi boomer like me would probably get behind. I'm starting over with my favorite card of all time to try to crawl my way to competitive success while also limiting myself to trades and cards I pull from packs. So I'm officially starting from scratch. Last week we established our new plan of attack to prepare for our upcoming YCS in April. It was very evident that we were missing some key pieces to make our deck really shine, so hopefully we can get some good trades this week. But before that, let's open some packs. Another week, another six Maze of Millennium to open. Now I do know that in the new U Bell set that no more horse cards were released. I know that now. I didn't know that before. And it's kind of too late, because uh, if I'm going to be pulling the curtains a little bit, how about a bunch of these? That way I just won't have to worry about not having them. So there's that. But that doesn't mean it's a complete waste. We do need the thrust, and thrust is expensive. So if we can pull the thrust from these packs, I would be extremely happy. And there's also some Earthbound stuff we could potentially use in our deck as well. We get Geo Kraken, Flame Swords Dance, Ultimate Flame Swordsman, Salamandra with Chain, Supreme Rage, Full Armored Black Ray Lancer, and Burfament. It so surprised me that they put the original Flying Chimera stuff in here. After getting all the reprints and retrains of the stuff, I don't think we, there are going to be any use to the TCG after that. But we do have Earthbound Geo Kraken, Horned Saurus, Arcana Force 15, Hundred Eyes Dragon, Rain Force, Full Armored Black Grey Lancer, and Earthbound Release. Alright, next pack. Come on, baby. Give us something. Give us... Okay, I thought this was the uh, the new tuner, Earthbound Tuner that's actually pretty good. Pe people who are running Earthbound actually want this card. It's nothing crazy, but it is a card people are running. We need Thrust or Bonfire. Those are the two cards we're actually looking for. There it is, this thing. Earthbound Prisoner Stone Sweeper. This is actually a pretty decent tuner. Just for like, I think it's strictly for like dark type monsters. So if we wind up running like a dark type uh, synchro in our deck instead of the original plan, this card could actually come in handy. Satellite Synchron, Spring Gate Infinity, Pepepepepe, and Mole Seeker. Alright, halfway through. Come on, baby. If we pull Thrust in this opening, not going front, gonna be a little bit upset about that, because like I said, I pre bought a bunch of these for the series. So, we're just gonna be opening these just for the sake of opening them. Got Marionette, Protocol. Rescue Ace, Hydrant. It's gone down in price because of this set, but it is still very useful. Uh, Supreme King Dragon, Dark Rebellion. Millennium Revelation. Not the Horus Field Center like I thought it was. My cat's going crazy in the other room. Greater Line Walker and Rescue! Alright. Fourth pack. Come on. Doppel Warrior. Combat Wheel. Phoenix Gear Blade, Synchro Chase, uh, Ma Magispector Crow Yada. I think it's like a weird Yada retrain. Uh, Most Seeker, Earthbound Servant Geo Gremlin. I actually didn't know this card existed. I didn't know that they had another Synchro. I thought it was just the 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 two. I didn't know that there was a third one. All right, for the final pack, we're gonna do the card trick. Uh, this is something I'm going to start doing once I figure them out. If you don't know what the card trick is, basically in this pack, the next four after the super rare are regular rares. So, we flip it around. Now, our actual, like, super rare or higher is in the very back. So, Money Marvel... Apparently not. Harmonic Synchro Fusion Ultra Rare. Tight. Earthbound Geoglyph. Code Hack. Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, Contain, and Supreme Rage. Apparently I'm just stupid, or where the Super Rare could be, it's just like not at all where the Ultra Rare is. Or where the Ultra Rare is isn't where the Super Rare should be. Which is kind of dumb, but still. Everything else can be considered bulk, but these are our Super Rares and our one Ultra Rare. I'm actually interested to see 
uh, how much this goes for because this spell, you send a tuner and non-tuner from your face up on the field of the graveyard, especially when both of the following monsters from the extra deck. A secret monster that could be synchro summoned using just those two monsters in the graveyard's material, and a fusion monster that can be fusion summoned using those two monsters' material. So this is, you send a tuner and a non-tuner, and so long as they meet the criteria of a synchro and a fusion, you summon both. Which is insane. I don't know the price of this card, but that sounds nutty. That sounds like it should be worth a good bit. The trades we need are looking pretty grim with our current value in our trade binder. We still need three Msetis, an access code, a thrust, and a little knight to name a few. But hopefully we can find some of the cheaper stragglers before the next tourney. Alright, so do you see our vision hero for the Sigma? <laughs> That's it. Alright, thank you very much. Right, so we're doing all these for this deck right here. Sounds good to me. Thank you very much. Alright, so you sure I can have this number 97? Yeah, I don't care. Much appreciated. So these two for these two? Yeah. Good deal. Thank you. Thank you. There are a few trades that we made off camera for the same reason as the last time we had trades out. In one of our trades, we were able to get a third happy, our third golden sarcophagus, which is big, and our final two revived sky gods. I am so unbelievably happy that we finally got these cards this is going to be huge for our deck another trade we did we actually traded off one of our super polys for a eye of illusion which is purely trade bait and horus the black flame deity we still don't have any msetis and mainly that's because we don't have anything that's worth an msetti so i'm not mad scooping this up i actually kind of have high hopes for this card we were also able to pick up a Domatef Blessing of the Horus. I'm actually very happy. That means the only Horus card we don't have is fucking Insetti. After some big trades, I feel more confident than ever with how our deck can turn out. And just in time because this week's tourney is held by Alfredo, the person we fought last week, and the winner gets an SP Little Knight. I'm all for community held events and a chance to win one of the cards we need. So let's get back to the studio and get crafting. Another week, another deck list. So fun fact, uh, this is actually the second time that I've recorded this deck list because we made some trades at the uh, tournament that I didn't expect to make while I was there. And I decided to throw them in the deck because with the prize we have, you kind of need all the events you can get. So without further ado, let's see what the new deck entails. First up, we have our Slifer engine. Of course, same as always, we are running three copies of Slide for the Sky Dragon. We now have three copies of the Revived Sky God. I am so unbelievably happy that we finally have three of these. R rocking with one was a struggle, because when you only have one, you basically lose the main effect, which is the draw up to six ability. You're basically trying to dump it and Cypher into the grave, so that way you can get Monster Reborn and get uh, Cypher that way. And pray to God that you just have enough cards in your hand to make it worth a damn. And of course, you can't run Revive Sky God and Slifer without Monster Reborn. That kind of also defeats the whole point of the second ability. And we are running two Trap Tracks. Now, the reason I have Trap Track, I destroy one monster on my side of the field, which a lot of our monsters we want in the graveyard anyway. This card then lets you set any normal trap from your deck to the field, and it can be played that turn. So this is just basically two extra copies of the Revive Sky God, assuming we have monsters on the field that we are willing to dump. And uh, if we wind up being like, eh, I kind of want, you know, to try to hard draw into it, and I think another set of hand traps might be better than this and going into game two, we can always just side these out if need be. There's just another way to get the Revive Sky God in our hand, or rather on the field, and hopefully by the time that happens, we would have had Slifer in our graveyard. Moving on to our Horus Engine, we now have three copies of King Sarcophagus. We were able to scoop up our third copy. We also are running two copies of Happy because we only have zero Msetis. But we only have one Msetis. We don't have any Msetis yet. So we're rocking the two. You need four at all times, I've discovered, in case one of them is in your hand and the other one is... Uh, in, case, in case you have both of them in your hand with King Sox effect, discard one and then you can still send another horse to the graveyard. I've learned that the hard way with this deck. So that's why we're running two Msetis. We're also rocking one Dumatef and one uh, Quebzenef. And just, you know, they are vital pieces to the Horus engine. You will be able to get these guys on the field. And we are rocking one Horus the Black Flame Deity. Now, this card kind of acts as a secondary boss monster for us, because unlike all the other Horus cards, this one does not have any graveyard effects. This card strictly has in-hand effects. 
So if it's in our hand, honestly, it's kind of a brick until something happens, but if our opponent gets rid of our King Stark, we special summon this thing and board wipe them. Well, not board wipe completely, we get rid of all their monsters. Which, honestly, is probably going to happen more than once in this whole series, because these guys don't work unless this guy's on the field, and if this guy's in my hand, you get punished for getting rid of it. And like, now you have to deal with the 3k beat stick, and you have no monsters on the field at the time, so... Hopefully, this card will come in handy. Moving on to the Light Sworn package, we are rocking three copies of Raiden, two copies of Lumina, and three copies of Charge of the Light Brigade. Nothing has changed with the Light Sworn package. Literally, this is just helping us get cards to the grave. We have Raiden and one of our, uh, one of our, uh, Horus monsters on field. We can then synchro into our synchro monster, which you'll see at the end of the deck. Well, not the end of the deck list, but you know what I mean. You're going to see it later on in the deck list, goddammit. And then we just have cards that are, like, you know, good for our deck. We are finally running the Gen and Ken engine. Three Gen, one Ken. We don't have Geonator yet, but once we do, this is going to be kind of nutty because this card makes you summon Ken. Ken makes me draw two and then discard one. And then you swap them around and Gen is uh and then again is when special summon you discard a card so we do normal summon again special summon again to our opponent's side i do draw to a discard one swap him around a geo designator and now my opponent has to discard a card because they're special summon to their side of the field and then with uh ken the warrior dragon they draw to discard one but Still, there's some kind of kind of nutty plays you can do with these guys. I would probably just stick with the Ken play of me draw two and discard one, but it's still pretty good. We are running three Ghost Bells. I feel like running Ghost Bell in the main is better than running Ash in the current format. We might decide to just swap them around because we have both. Might as well try test the waters with Ghost Bell. But when push comes to shove, we do have Ashes if we want to swap out. Card destruction. It's simple, discard your whole hand, draw the same number. It's an easy way to get cards into the grave. We have Gold Sark, this, and just a bunch of our horse cards. This ensures that we get our horse cards into the graveyard without even having to use the effect of Gold Sarcophagus. And then, of course, we have the potential to dump other cards we want in the graveyard, like Revive Sky God, Slap the Sky Dragon, even Monster Reborn, we kind of want in the graveyard as long as Revive Sky God's in there. Because then we can guarantee get a monster reborn to our hand. Because fun fact about the Revised Sky God, you can't negate it, and you can't respond to it. We were running two Lightning Storms, just as back row hate mainly. If my opponent has a heavy front row, we'll deal with that. But, against back row, it is just mainly back row hate. One Call by the Grave, because we hate Ash against us. And one Foolish Burial, to make sure that if we have Revived Sky God in hand, we will, in fact, get Cypher into the grave, by God. We will. Moving on to our extra deck. We are running mostly XZs. We have a few links and a Synchro. We are running one copy of the Zombie Vampire. You know, more mill. And we get to special on our opponent's monsters, which is big. One copy of Galaxy Eyes Full Armor Photon Dragon. I literally just needed another card to go in here. He takes three level eights, which again, we can easily do. He's a monster pop, 4k beat stick. If I could get another just normal Galaxy Eyes Dragon, I might even consider putting that in there. But for the time being, we're just running with Photon until we get more pieces that we actually need. We are running one Typhon, because Typhon is just good. We are running one Guru Nix Eternity on Summon. He is a monster board wipe. We have one Coach King Giant Trainer, because, you know, he's a draw three essentially. We're running one Abyss Dweller, because Graveyard plays are huge in the meta right now. So Abyss Dweller is going to come in handy against that. Time Thief Redoer because he's annoying. And then finally, we finally got cards to play this. We scooped up a number 97 Draglubion. Draglubion is going to be able to summon number 100 Numeron Dragon. No matter what, Numeron Dragon will be 9k on board. And he is a problem. He can just beat over almost anything our opponent summons. And of course, you need another number card to summon him. So we're rocking with two number 38s. Uh, number 38 is just a good card all around. My opponent activates a spell card. I say no, put it on here as material. Uh, he tries to attack a weaker monster. I can remove material and make force him to attack this thing. I don't think a lot of people understand that second ability because normally they try to get rid of him before the first one hits. So there's like, okay, I can just swing, do some damage, and I can still, you know, live the next turn. No, you're attacking this thing. 
So, th that's just a, another way to deal with our opponent. Moving on to the links, we have three links. We have Nightmare Unicorn, just, you know, to get rid of some problem cards on board. Saruja Skulldred, it is a link four. To get the four plus monster effect, it is extremely easy with this deck, with the Horus engine. Basically, we just use our Horus, get happy, Domitaf, and Quipsnap onto the field, and then we just normal summon anything that we can. And then we have our four for Saruja. And then Dark to Dark Charmer. Darks are still really relevant. Branded's a thing. Telemints are a thing. We summon Dark. Get a Dark Monster from their graveyard to our side of the field. It's a no-brainer. And then the final card in our deck is Geo Mathmech Final Sigma. I know I could potentially run Baron, but in this deck it is very difficult to get a level 10 for Synchros because we're running a bunch of level 8s. Even if we were use Ash, that's still 11 levels. Raiden's a level 4, so level 12, Geo Mathmech Final Sigma. It is a card when in the extra monster zone it becomes a problem because he is unaffected by card effects. He, this thing is not affected by Nibiru, by the way. If you have this thing on the field against Nibiru, Nibiru can't touch him. So it's honestly really good to have this card, especially in a format where Nibiru is still, you know, kind of taking lives right now. And then finally, our side deck. Of course, like I said earlier, we are running three Ash Blossom Joy Springs in the side. Worst case scenario, if our opponent goes into our deck a lot, we just swap out the Ghost Bus for the Ash. Not bad, that big a deal. Two Drone Lockbird. Drone Lockbird is huge this format. I'm really happy we scooped up these two. I'm contemplating on trying to scoop up a third, but I think two is actually pretty decent. Gardala, the mystery does the mystery does kaiju. Running two of these, it is a kaiju. It is a problem remover, guaranteed. And if we have both in our hand, remove a problem. We get another thing to take care of it and just like make sure that they don't get to keep it and use it against us. We are running two copies of Dark Ruler No More. This is another card I'm contemplating playing to three or even taking out entirely for something like Forbidden Droplet. But Dark Ruler No More is a good card to just make sure that our opponent can't do anything against our plays. So between uh, Forbidden Droplet and Dark Ruler, right now Dark Ruler is my pick, but later on we'll have to see if we want to get rid of it for Forbidden Droplet. We are running one for Harpy's Feather Duster, just some more back row hate. Two copies of Infinite Impermanence, just you no know, monster negates, and if it's face down, whatever's in the same column as it, our opponent can activate, so that's big. Two evenly matched, just for board wipe. One, there can only be one, and one goes in match. There can only be one, I feel like it's going to be huge in this format, because of the snake eyes and fire engine that's going on right now. If they can only control one of each, then they're fucked, <laughs> they're just fucked. Whereas with our deck, we run a variety of different attributes and types, so there can only be one kind of nutty right now for us. That is our current deck. I'm really hoping that we can make some good plays with these. In testing, I promise this deck makes plays. Then as soon as I have to pay money for a tournament, it just bombs. I don't know why, it's just that way every time. New deck in hand, we can finally get to the tournament. I'd feel more confident if we at least had one m -Seti, but we work with what we got. So let's get going. Today's feature match is against Jamal and his Infernoble Flame Swordsman deck. Flame Swordsman got some pretty nutty support that goes hand in hand with Infernoble, so I wouldn't be surprised if we saw a version of this deck at YCS. So without further ado, it's time to duel. Yeah. Yep. Alright. Stand by in a minute. Uh, that's right. Alright, uh, first we play King Sarcophagus. Uh, King's I'm going to play Charge of the Light Brigade. I know the top three for cost, and I choose a level four or lower light sword and add it to my hand. That's right. One, two, three. Ew. <laughs> One, two, add red into my hand. Okay. Cut or cut. Next, I will normal summon Ren. I, I will. Use his ability, send the top two cards to my graveyard, and he lights ones I mill, I get the spell set. All good. One, two, did not. He gains 200 to the gun phase. Uh, King Stark ability, going to discard one for cost and a horse monster from deck to grave. Uh, what's in here? All right. You, that's it. Okay. Going to send Clepsniff. 
right. And then Sky's King starts on the field. I can post some in Web Snuff, Happy, and Dumita. So what do all these do? Okay. So they all do stuff whenever anything leaves the field, no matter what. Even if King Sark's on the field, they still activate. Uh, Kleb Snuff is if something leaves the field, his, except during the damage step. Uh, his ability is you cannot target Horus cards I control with effects or attacks. <laughs> Happy is target two cards that are banished or in a graveyard, either add them to my hand or shuffle them into the deck. <laughs> Domatef is I draw cards equal to the number of monsters with different names my main monsters have. That's if anything leaves field, right. for whatever reason. Um, then I'm going to overlay these two to bring out. I forgot to pull up my extra deck. My apologies. To bring out. Where you at? There you are. Zombie vampire. All right, that part's good. All right, I'm going to remove one material from zombie vampire. Uh, we each send the top four cards of our deck to the graveyard. Any monster that is known that way, I can dispatch someone on my side of the field. Top four, right? Top four. Okay, um, let's see the monster you got. Let me choose Edgar. Uh, alright. Um, why are you playing fit? Uh, yep. Salamandra? Yep. Salamandra effect? Yep. Uh, Salamandra will change? Yep. Alright. Then you? This is the Alright. Sync these two. Geo, Mathmech, Fen Sigma. As long as he's in the extra monster zone, he is unaffected by card effects except for Mathmech cards. He's a level 2 or 12? Oh, 12. He's a level 12. Okay. I will then set one card face down. And then I will activate the revived Sky God in my graveyard. Mm -hmm. I banish it for cost. I take Monster Reborn from my deck or grave, put it on the top of my deck. If I were to control a Divine Beast in my graveyard, which I do not, I get to draw a card. Uh -huh. uh, okay. So. Monster Reborn will be put on top of my deck. I don't control a Divine Beast in my graveyard, so I will not get to draw. Okay. It's like a cup tap. Uh, up there. And I will simply pass to you. Uh, before you end, uh -huh. I will attempt to the Biru. Biru? Hmm. That works. He is a. Uh, yes. So he does go? No. Okay. He's, he's unaffected by. Yeah, he's unaffected. Cool. As long as he's unaffected by monster on field. Unaffected by card base. Yes. Yep. Okay. Unaffected. So these two do go. Yes. And then I get a beefy token of 28 plus 24. That is 44, 5,000, 5,200 events. Okay. All right. And pass over to you. Great. Draw. Drop turn. Stand by. Yep. Maybe. Yep. We are going to put that back. Uh, we'll go on it. Mm -hmm. Good. Yep. We'll get the Abelstar. Yep. We'll get the Abelstar, the Black Witch. Ricardetto? Ricardetto effect? Uh, yep. I'm target my um, fighting flame in my grave? Yep. Uh, 
Oh, so still a party plane? Party plane effect? Yep. Okay, that flying plane still work. Sinker? Yep. Angelica? Yep. Uh, Angelica effect? Yep. It's gone, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, we see him. Get a museum. Then yeah, we'll go. We'll activate museum. Uh, page 12 for museum. Page 12? Yes. Sorry, wrong one. Very good. Yeah, all mace. Then we will go. A bit of salamandra. Yep. Targeting my. Uh, targeting uh, Angelica. A bit of Angelica. Okay. Don't bash yourself. We will send. Send Marcus. Yep. We'll send Marcus. Special summer yeah, out. Right now. Uh, Captain Rowan. We'll go back to Marcus. Okay. Little clip. Yep. Back to Museum. Too special. Okay. Now Warrior Lot. Charles, okay. I can pop a car on board and not target it. Okay. We will pop your face down. Face down? Yeah. Yeah. And then we will link. Link one to Emperor Charles the Great, yep. aka Charlemagne effect. Yep. It's going to clip him. He gets all the effects of Charles, but this pop effect just can't, um, can't activate again this turn. Okay. Um, we will switch the beer to attack mode. Say, if you're swinging to him, he's got 5,200 effects. Okay. Alright, so no, 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 no. Oh, no, no. I thought I was attacking Brian. I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be fun. Uh, we'll go to. I really totally forgot about the thing. We'll go main phase two. Uh, 
over. Uh, I will mow two cards to help my deck to the graveyard. And he gains 200 attack, and he likes one more since I mail it, I can spell some. Okay, he gains 200 attack for that interface. Um, on that. Uh, that resolution. Yep. I will first call by the grave. Okay. Target will be... Will target your happy. Okay. Are you happy? Okay. Um, um, resolution? Yep. Um, effect of... Um, you have anything on resolution? No. Uh, effect of Captain Rowan? Yep. We will target um, Emperor Charles the Great? Yep. Cool. Yep. Um, effect of Emperor Charles? Yep. Okay. Um, to pop one card for not targeting. I will pop... We'll pop your uh, token. Okay. And you may continue. Okay. Um, I'm going to. I got that thing towards the scene start. I'm supposed to summon Dumbata. I'm going to from my graveyard. And I will also supposed to summon Happy. Um, Happy's effects are negated. That's fine. Oh no no, it's a fact to get it from the spectrum from itself. Oh, okay, my bad. Um, from there. Uh, I will monster reborn. Bring out happy. Monster reborn. Um, I have some. I have a. We have a response. Yeah. We're gonna use um, if we're trying to break. Negate the activation of the card and destroy it. Negate the activation of the card and destroy it. Okay. Okay. Um, from here, I'm going to summon Dumbatop. Okay. Uh, what's his attack points? He's at uh, thir- uh, 40, uh, 45. 45? Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, I go for that. I do. I do that. Okay. Exe summon. Uh-huh. Runix. Uh, Eternity can't be hanging with fire kings. When he is Exe summon, destroy all other monsters on the field. Destroy all other monsters on the field. Uh, we are going to. I'm looking for that one. We are going to uh, chain that with Salamander with Chain. Yeah. We're going to target. Uh, we're going to target uh, Emperor Charles and your Grimace. It'll flip it face down. Flip it face down. Yep. Okay. But that will still be gone. Correct. Okay. And I have a chain link on this one. Um, effect of um, effect of Dorindal. Okay. Target in my uh, target in my Retardado. Yep. Go to special summon it. Yep. Uh, back to Ricardetto. Yep. You know, special summon back. I guess. Okay. And, um, let's From there, I Um, 
damage from my Sky God to put Monster Born on top of my deck. Sure. I will pass turn there. Let's see. I got the green. Else, nope. Uh, drop turn. Yep. Stand by. Yep. Me? Yep. Um, I am going to. I'm going to send. Uh, museum to special summon out the Bell Star. The okay. Bell Star effect. Okay. Princess effect of uh, Magus. Yep. It's going to target one. Target two and target. And sure, they target. We open all those cards, I believe. And target uh, three. Yep. Let's see if I can deck and draw a card. Yep. It's in the gray still. Can I draw one? Yep. Draw one. Um, I bet the Promethea. Yep. Uh, especially my uh, Emperor Charles. Yep. We'll go. Emperor Charles, but it's always hard. Well, there were Charles, but Captain Rowan. Yep. To equip. Uh, Charles, but. Yep. You will pop your sarcophagus. Um, link. To Emperor Charles the Great. Yep. Great effect. Yep. Then uh, we are going to. Effect uh, of Oliver. Yep. To equip to Charles the Great. Yep. Uh, proceed to enter battle. Yep. Um, Emperor Charles the Great will attack. Um, uh, attack Decorator. Um, fighting Flame Sword. Okay. Uh, choosing the effect that when uh, um, an attack is declared with a Fire Warrior, um, target one card on the board and destroy it. Declare. Yep. Uh, swing for 30 or 35. Uh, swing for 27. This is when you activate a pet of four of yeah. no. <laughs> 12. I know, right? Uh, May 2. Yep. We'll go. Uh, we'll equip Promethean with all mace. Yep. Uh, Have to be simple, small snake eyes. Yep. We'll send Promethean to some of level one. We'll send out Renal. Yep. Uh, I got that, but it's okay. Um, we got Renal, Chain Link one, and um, I'll miss Chain Link two. Targeting my. Are you? Targeting my uh, courageous. Yep. And we'll add that hand, and this will add my all base back. Let's see, after that, I'll pass. Draw for turn. Stand by me. Uh -huh. uh, I am going to activate Monster Reborn. Um, perfect. Yeah, sorry. Uh, but we will set all of us to the game have every spare card and destroy it. That's turn. Mm -hmm. uh, draw for turn. Yep. Stand by. Yep. Play. Yep. Battle. Yep. Sweet game. Yep. Uh, so you take it first. I'm going to uh, I'm going to get the take second. What? Oh, 
Is that my name? Yep. Oh, oh, I read the Warren's Museum. Okay. Uh, page 12. Any other thoughts? Uh, nope. Let's get Look at the red off. Uh, on resolution. Uh -huh. uh, draw one. Do I have anything on that? Uh, no, actually, I do not. Plans a little bit. <laughs> that ruined my plan a little bit. That's way so. Oh well. I'm gonna do that, but oh well. Go we'll send. Especially when I beat a bell star. Beat a bell star fast. Yep. Get out of the original set of swords, they guys. Yep, 
know what that would do. You know what? Go ahead. I already messed up already. Drop the drone. Uh-huh. Stand by in a minute. Yep. Uh, first, I'm going to normal summon again the tiger, the diamond tiger. And he is normal summon. I can special summon Ken, the dragon warrior, after you have to Oh, no. We won't we won't we we break. Three. Yeah. I was not expecting that one. <laughs> oh, I messed up so badly. Um, summon up fighting flames on Yep. Jeff Warfett. Yep. We will get out. Flame Soul for real? Yep. Give me a resolution? Uh, nope. Okay. Um, I do Flame Soul for round. Uh, Tiff for effect. Yep. So, do summon up. An OG Flame Swordsman. Effect the Pine Flame. Yep. Effect of uh, Salamandra. Yep. Yeah, fine for me. So, set them at your feet. Yep. Um, activate set them at your feet. Give it. So, also fine. Right. Next. Durant off it. Yep. Remember not target. Yep. Oh, I cannot do it. I cannot legally activate that card. Oh. Um, I have to do something first. Um, effect. Um, Salamandra. I have to do that first. Um, effect. Pinch out green. Angelo Green is a continuous effect. Oh, it's a continuous effect. Yes, it's the first thing that uh, first thing uh first spell drop the card that, that resolves in the gates. Oh gotcha. Okay. Uh King Sarcophagus. Um Sarcophagus is good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um King Sarcophagus first, discard a card to send a horse monster to the grave. Sure. Go ahead and choose. Activate again, start for cost. Yep. Going to be sending. Where are you at? I know I have you. I gotta think about. Oh, I think I took it out when I decided. I don't think I can regain it. It's all bad. Okay. Whoops. That's fine. Um. Do my tef for seven or so. Okay. Um, because I control King Sark and a horse monster, horse black and medium from my hand, I can reveal to my hand, send one card from my hand or field to the graveyard, then send one card from the field to the graveyard. 
So I'll be sending my uh, Crimson to the graveyard to be, I will be sending that to the graveyard. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, special summon itself, right? Basic four is once you control. Uh, no. It doesn't, well, it does, but not from that effect. Uh, quest enough to special summon itself. Uh, only these two bring out a zombie vampire. Um, on summon. Yes. This is an initiative effect, correct? Yeah. This is an initiative, right? Basically, you have to, you have to activate it, right? Um, for this guy? Yeah. It's not on summit, correct? It's not on summit. Okay, I have a response. Okay. Uh, we will activate Salamander with Chain. Okay. Uh, we'll target him. Yeah, would that be good? Uh, yeah. Uh, we will flip him based on he gains 700. It'll flip to him and he gains 700. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um, let me shuffle my deck because I did search. I feel like I could have gotten out of that by a certain way, but I don't know how this works, so I'm just going to say I didn't do it. No misplay. Um, from there, I am simply just going to pass my turn. Uh, on end phase, we'll go up at ultimate flame, target your face down. Uh, what did you do? It'll destroy you, take 500. Destroy, I take 500? Yep. Anything else on your face? Uh, nope. Uh, drop turn. Um, I will... We'll go... We'll activate all mace. Yep. Um, all mace effect. Yep. This is going to send itself and replace itself with the Randolph. Uh, the Randolph effect. Yep. We'll get out of Cardano. Yep. Any or, or resolution? Nope. Uh, some Ricardo. Ricardo effect. Yep. Uh, some shot playing. Yep. Uh, fine playing effect. Yep. We'll get out finally playing solar. Yep. Or Angelica. Yep. Angelica Fett. Yep. Get out. Or Museum. Yep. Hey, Maddie, what's the time? Maddie, what's the time? Inner battle. Yep. Uh, I'll swing for 12. Oh, sorry, 17. 17? Yeah. Okay. Swing for 17. Uh, swing for uh, swing, uh, swing for Flame Swordsman. Effect of uh, Chain Link 1. Okay. Effect of Flame Swordsman. Chain Link 2. Effect the Flame Swords round. Okay. It's going to target her. It's going to lower her by a thousand, and oh. every other monster on board gets a thousand. Okay. So he goes down, well, he goes, oh, so he goes up by another thousand, plus four, uh, plus uh, 21, and this. Okay. So, and it, this, and this effect, will kick in, it'll double that. So what I'm saying is, I just, what I'm hearing is, I just lost. <laughs> Unfortunately. Good game. <laughs> yeah. The deck is looking more and more clean by the week, and it's putting up more and more of a fight. I may have lost, but I'm proud of what I was able to do so far. But before we sign off, it's time to open our entry packs. I wonder if we got anything good here. You want to open one just to see exactly? Like, just if, open one. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, one? Which one do you want to open? Uh, I'll go ahead. If you're opening maze, I'll open up maze. I'm opening a phantom. Oh, you open phantom? I'll yeah. open phantom. Okay. All right, let's do phantom. All right, midway through the video. Yep. Midway stream. Uh, midway stream pack, pack opening. opening. All right, let's see. Right. Let's see who has a better one. I got dark element. 
We got Ghost, Phantasma Summoner Beast, Time Reloader, Master of Hand, Roma Healing, White Aura Porpoise, White Aura Porpoise, and I got a Roid Raptor. I got a white sardine. Alright, okay. Alright, we'll do maze. Alright, I'm about to get the Let's go for bonfire. I'm actually about to pull enough most powerful bonfires to train for an MC. Alright. Ultra guys. Decent group. Flame swords, dance. Doppel warrior. And then I got earth bound. I got rescue ace. Nice. Okay, cool. I got those. I got these. Alright, we got one more of uh, Phantom Nightmare. Let's yep. hit the pull low. If I can pull the Taurus field spell, I'll be happy. Uh, Age of Stars. Royal Rhino. Vagnoir, uh, the Moon Eating Dragon. Dramatic Snake Eyes Chase. Uh, junk Dragonlet. Dra dragon junk Dragonlet. Aroma Healing. Uh, Procession of the T Jar. And I got an EMP. I got Magic Specter, Orthros, and New. Nice. Oh, you got a secret. That's I cool. did get a secret. Uh, pretty good. Yeah, the packs weren't that bad. No. Nothing too crazy, but that's okay. We got a little bit of trade bait and could potentially trade value later on down the line. Hopefully next week we can pull some. Hopefully next week we can pull something big and get that huge trade we really need. Take bars, little man.